Okay, Matt Bianca, another tip for the day, talking about fielding. So we need our kids to get ready. The game of baseball is very fun, but it can be boring if you spend your defensive time in this position. I am not ready to field a ground ball. Granted, this probably looks better than some kid who's doing this, but they're still not ready to go. So we need to make our glove big, show your glove to the ball, and we should be doing a creep step. So your feet are in motion, so when the pitcher is ready to pitch, you as a defensive player, a glove big out in front of you, some small little steps just to have some motion. The next problem is even when I am ready, the average young player, even a high school player who's athletic, doesn't have their glove low enough early enough. So the ball is bouncing. If the ball is coming up while my glove is going down, and that happens from my glove being too high. So I'm making my glove big, I'm doing good. I have my creep steps. Okay, here comes my ground ball. My glove's up high and I'm trying to go down to catch the ball. It's a really hard catch. So my suggestion is get your feet moving, get in front of the ball, but when the ball is about halfway to you or maybe a little closer, your glove should be lower than the ball. We want to catch the bottom of the baseball and we want to throw on top of the ball. So I'll do my same thing. My glove will be big. I'm doing my creep steps, but I'm now going to get lower than the ball sooner so that all I'm doing is either staying down, I'll do it again, or if I need to, I can come up. But catch the bottom of the ball. Most ground balls you miss will be under your glove, but that can't happen if your glove starts on the ground. Thank you. It says J Dog number seven. I can end this by saying. And then, by the way, if you are J Dog number seven, you left your glove here. Thanks, I got to use it for my video.